welcome students uh, we are happy to teach this course electric vehicles and renewable energy this course is being jointly taught by me ashok junjunwala institute professor at iit madras my colleague professor kaushal jha and professor l kannan three of us will teach this course and this is a special four part course each of the four courses is for four weeks duration though they are independent yet it is desirable to do the four courses in sequence if you want to understand anything everything if you do it independently you can more or less understand but some gaps will be there what i will do today is first do a give a overall introduction to all these four courses and after having introduced all the four courses we will get into each part part 1 part 2 part 3 part 4 each will be a four course four weeks course there are four modules as i pointed out part 1 is introduction to electric vehicles and vehicle subsystem requirements this will really set if you want to work in area of electric vehicles it will introduce electric vehicles it will introduce electric vehicles in indian context and will introduce all the concepts and come up to the vehicle subsystems these are the kind of vehicle subsystems that will be required to design and manufacture a particular electric vehicle this will be the first four weeks course and it will give you a fairly good comprehensive understanding of what needs to be done in electric vehicles this introduction itself will be a good overview if you are just getting into electric vehicle ev subsystem this will not talk too much on renewable energy but we will never teach electric vehicles without renewable energy in mind so we'll keep referring to that to some extent so that will be the part 1 4 weeks independent course you can just do that and not do others and then comes the part 2 where we take two of the sub sub systems battery cells and battery pack design battery cells to battery pack design primarily focus on one of the most important component of electric vehicles which for the electric drive train is almost 60% of the cost battery cells and battery pack we'll deal with all the issue of what are the options available how do you design what do you need to take into account and always we will bring in the indian context the other thing that we will do in these courses is always talk technology as well as economics and economics as is relevant in 2022 or next few years in mind we will always talk about numbers and what you need to achieve and how do you go about achieving that that will be the part 2 fundamentals of battery cells and pack design and this is as i told you the most important subsystem of a electric vehicle drive train the course number 3 which we call as a part 3 is on electric vehicles motors controllers and chargers actually motors and controllers come together a ev motors and controllers one which will drive the vehicles hmm? and the controllers the electric motors is which actually drives controllers is the electrical control of those motors which will derive powers for power from battery and drive the motors so the motors and controllers is a fundamental aspect and we'll go deep into what kind of motors and controllers are possible what does it take to design such motors and controllers 
what how do you make it most optimal for indian conditions we'll talk about different kinds of motors and controllers the theory and implementation as well as costs and this will fairly comprehensively cover the second important subsystem of a ev drivetrain which is a motors and controllers and then we'll get into chargers the chargers are of course charges the battery both the public chargers as well as chargers which can be used at your own home the chargers play an important role it is like a fuel fuel station without the fueling of the vehicle the vehicle cannot be driven and chargers are important components because these batteries do not necessarily charge fast when you drive to a petrol pump a fuel station you can fill in petrol in few minutes and drive on not so with the chargers charging takes time and therefore we'll get into all aspect of chargers actually both motors controllers chargers and battery will all be there in part 1 also but part 1 will only do give you the overview getting into details of what is involved in charger design how can india get the best charging infrastructure is going to be there in part 3 now part 1 and 2 and 3 will pretty much cover the electric vehicle part of it part 4 is very different part 4 is is on renewable energy and storage because after getting the electric vehicle we do not want it to be powered with electricity from coal plants we will prefer electricity from solar and wind and other renewable energy sources so we this is a course which will comprehensively deal with renewable energy as available or as possible in india and a very important component we'll talk about is storage the storage is like energy storage is like a battery and storage to some extent is common between electric vehicles which also needs energy storage and for renewable energy that is whenever sun and solar and wind energy is available you convert it into electricity and store the energy and use it whenever you need the storage plays a very important role in both this and to some extent technology is similar in some as to some extent it is different the energy storage that you use for grid is very large storage the storage that you use for electric vehicles are smaller storage we'll talk about all of that its implication on cost implication on uh, um on the on the co- uh, on the usage of it the ease of usage of it and these four courses which will be for about 16 weeks four weeks each will give you a very comprehensive understanding of ev ev subsystems and renewable energy and storage as applicable to india i hope you are able to take all the four courses even if you are not try taking at least the first course the first course will give you a good overview and then you can choose one of the courses course 2 course 3 or course ideally do all four in sequence all the four courses will be available on nptel i hope all these four courses are also available for taking on credit at universities iit madras will allow you to do that other institutes can also allow you to do that and in which case they are like a little bit larger course um in uh, conventional term many of these will be offered as a four credit course um in iit madras it will be offered as a 12 credit course hmm? so typically 12 credits for 15 weeks 12 hours for fif- of classes for 15 weeks 12 hours of work on this course for 15 weeks will give you enable you to do all four courses however as i pointed out each of these four courses are independent courses each of the four courses will have independent examination and independent grading of course just like any nptel courses 
all these courses will have enough assignments and assignments will come while the coursework is going on. Every thing that we will teach after a short 20-25 minutes or so, you will be given an assignment. These assignments are simple, but will prepare you well to understand whether you overall understood the content and also prepare you well for the exams. We will have at the end of each of the part, we will have an exam and this exam will be conducted by NPTEL. It will be objective type exam, either multiple choice or you have to work out the problems and write down only the answers. It will be evaluated therefore by electronically. Hmm? That is the way we conduct the NPTEL courses and that is what we plan to do. The courses for the next few years, we are, we are trying to do it in such a manner that from 2022 to 23, 24, 25, this will be a pretty, um, a course which will be still very useful. It may require some updating after two to one half years because some of the technology that we are going to talk about keeps evolving. Remember that these technologies are very rapidly evolving. I am making it today up to date up to 2022 and some projection I will be doing. But mm, still at the end of two to three years, maybe some updating may be required. So I hope you do all the four courses. I will start by trying to get into details of what the four courses will consist of, a detailed outline of each of the courses and then we will begin each course. This part of the lecture ideally should be there as a part of every module. So that if you have not done the previous module, previous part, you still are able to understand the context and then go into deeper in each part. But of course, if you are doing all the four modules, this introduction can be skipped in module 2, 3 and 4. You just need to do it in module 1. 